G'day guys, Lammy from Thorburns. Uh, we've just finished off 79 Oz, so we thought we'd give you a bit of an extensive rundown on what we do with the Zeus train canopy packages and some of the options that we have. So, Joe here, starting off, he's run a 750 wide box. Um, we've done a flat door on both sides here, but we've also run a dog box door for him. He, it's 15 minutes to change, and we find that if you run a cover over the dog box door, it's just never as good. So we've run two options for the door, happy days, easy stuff. As for all the Zeus trays that we do, you've got lighting on the headboard and fuel filler relocation. It means that high flow, bang straight in, really easy. And the lighting on the side of the tray is just so convenient when you pull up the campsite and stuff. Whack the switch on, see wherever you want to be. It's awesome for camp lights as well. So on the inside of the box, we've got a Unistrut system. And for any of the accessories that we run, you can bolt them in and out of that. So if you want to swap sides, swap places, that basically bolt pitch is the same across all our accessories. You bolt them in, happy days. We've got under tray toolboxes. So they're dust and water tight. Any of your stuff fits an ARB dual compressor really nicely in there. And then happy days, chuck it in. Easy. On the back, we've got a similar system with the modular rear wall. So the reason for that is sometimes, depending on the trips, your stuff changes. So if you want to run a ladder for one trip, jerry can holder for the other, it just bolts simply into the Unistrut system that we have there. Really, really convenient. So he's gone for a dual jerry can holder, spare tire, and a rear ladder rack. We've also got a locked up trundle tray. So dust and water tight again, but it locks out. When you're on a hill, it can just be so frustrating sliding it out, sliding it in, and trying to get stuff out of it. So it locks out, get whatever you need to do, do whatever you need to do, two locking tabs, slide back in real easy. We've got sequential indicators and really, really good reverse lights. And then underneath the tray, we just got a little water outlet, which is gravity fed from our tank. We do offer pumps, pumps as well. So just here, thread, ball valve, plain simple, really easy, kind of foolproof system. On this side, same as the other, another toolbox. Something to note, just a little wet area storage, so it doesn't go to the, through to the toolboxes, but if you want to run a water pump or some old recovery gear, wet boots, anything like that, handy to chuck in that area. Got the one piece flared mud guards. So depending on the offset wheels, they're adjustable as well. Um, they just adjust in and out, really easy to do. And then same as the other side, lighting on this side, but on this side we've got the water inlet. So good 38 mil water inlet in case you do want to fill from a stream, big bucket. It's a nice big inlet, chuck the water in, happy days. That's it for the Zeus train canopy, but we'll give you a bit of a rundown on what else Joe's run on the car. So he's gone, the Rhino Rack Backbone, good product. It doesn't hurt the gutters like a lot of other ones do, so it's really, really handy. He's gone with the visor. Look at that, old man spec, huh? Got clear view mirrors, so they're electric mirrors, but manual out. So if you're in the car, switch. That's probably the best part about them. And the fact that the factory ones are junk. We've got ARB front bar, side steps and rails. Again, one of the better brands that we think. We just love it. It works. Pretty foolproof. And then steady lights on the front with a warm winch. On the inside, he's got Department of Interior top and bottom console and an XRS 370. Uh, one other thing, just your safari snorkel. On this side, another ripper product. All right, guys, that's it. Stage one of Joe's build done. Check out 79 Oz on the gram. You see all his adventures. He's getting lifting tires and a bunch of other stuff soon. So get ready. Cheers.